the Western Pacific is where the active atmosphere mm -hmm. in the tropics is. We got half the globe that's active and upward motion. The half the globe that we're in, the Atlantic Basin, is where the sinking is happening. A lot of times, these global circulations, you know, get locked in for a little while, even within an otherwise busy or expected to be busy season. But it is remarkable how that pattern has been stuck mm -hmm. in the recent weeks to the point where we haven't had a name storm at all since Ernesto formed on the 12th of August and was no longer a hurricane on the 20th of August. If you think this has been an unusual late August, early September, you're not dreaming. So I ran the numbers and the white lines, this is the active era since 1995. How many storms in each year between August 21 <clears throat> after Ernesto went away, mm -hmm. and tomorrow, September 4th. We've never had zero until this year. That's remarkable. Yeah. To go through those two weeks and not have any name storms in the active era, we are in uncharted territory. However, you know, we've had a lot of occasions where uh, even if there's only been you know, one or two storms in those two weeks, the next two weeks have been really busy. So mm -hmm. uh, it will be very remarkable if we go another couple weeks without a name storm, which is at least within the realm of possibility. However, those conditions from the Pacific are likely at some point to move eastward, and I think the Atlantic Basin is still a ticking time bomb waiting for those favorable conditions to move in. And once that happens, this, the, the late part of the season, even part mm -hmm. of this month, could be very busy. So an update, I mean, we could keep this quiet for another 10 days or so, mm -hmm. but that still puts us, what, mid-September. And then yeah. when those favorable conditions, we saw what the Eastern Pacific did. I mean, it did, it did get going very, very quickly and rapidly. Yeah, and those conditions came into the Atlantic, but they weren't as robust as mm -hmm. what's out in the Pacific right now. So even Colorado State University and Phil Klotzbach were looking at this, and they're putting out their <laughs> latest two-week forecast just mm -hmm. now. And they're expecting, given what we see right now globally within the season, that the next couple weeks might stay below average for this time of year. But they're still anticipating, you know, at some point after that, things could get very busy and still end up way above average for the season. Do you think this could potentially set us up for an incredibly active October and even November? It very well could because how much fuel is out there in the Atlantic Basin? We don't have all that much wind shear. We have the tropical waves. But we've got this warmer than average water that is just sitting there waiting for the activity to ramp up. So the fuel is there. As soon as those conditions come in from the Pacific, we're going to forget about dust. We're going to forget about Atlantic Nina, all that mm -hmm. stuff. It, this could be a late loaded season. So careful what you ask for if you're wondering where the hurricanes are.